BJJ for breakfast. Okay. Okay, so since we're doing reverse Kesakatame all week, we're going to do a guard pass from the half guard using reverse Kesakatame. So we start in the half guard, okay? Now let's go with the knee shield. This is a good one to beat the knee shield, right? Usually when you have a knee shield, a lot of people instinctively try to go through the knee shield, which will never work, right? As long as he's got this block here, never going to be able to just power through the knee shield. So usually you want to go around the knee shield, yeah? So if his knee shield is already a little low, okay, then we're just going to do the move. If it's a little high, we're going to do the leg weave first to smash it down and then do the move. So if it's already a little low, if I could get it low or if he's just playing low knee shield, no worries. I'm going to take this arm and I'm going to block his um, leg. I just want to make sure his leg pinned to the mat. I don't want his leg to come up and get involved in the action here. So anywhere between his knee and his thigh, I'm going to put his leg to the mat, okay? Then I'm going to take this hand and I'm going to keep it here on his um, ribs. I'm going to come forward and I'm going to start driving my shoulder into his chest. And as I do that, I want to come onto my toes and I want to drop my hip and I want to get his back flat to the mat. So I'm going to drive, 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 and then switch my hip, okay? Once we get to here, I'm going to bring this arm out, come up underneath. He can keep this wrapped up. That's fine. Usually they'll lock it, right? Because they feel like what's happening. You scoot up in this reverse Kesakatame position, all right? Once we get to here, I can bring my bottom knee through, use it to extract my leg, and then we come to either side control or just stay in reverse Kesakatame if that's what you want to do. So again, we're here. This time, if the leg is high, we're going to use the shoulder smash, right? The leg weave, shoulder smash to bring it down. Everything else stays the same. I'm going to push, push, push him flat and then switch my hip, okay? Now we're in reverse Kesakatame. If he keeps it locked up, I'm going to scoop my butt back until I can bring my bottom knee through, create a wedge, use that to bring my leg out. And then we can just stay in reverse Kesakatame if we want. Okay, one more time. Something you do have to watch out for here is the Kimura, okay? But don't panic if you get, if you get Kimura, right? So I'm stuffing the leg, I'm doing it, and he starts coming for the Kimura. No worries, my leg should already be outside my arm, so what I'm going to do is make sure that I keep my hand inside my thigh, and I'm going to keep doing the move. I'm going to put him flat on his back, I'm going to switch my hip. Now look what happens. I get a Kimura of my own. You switch it, you use your arm to bring his arm out, and then you end up with the Kimura. So again, we're here. Let's say we smash it down, okay? We're driving forward, he grabs the Kimura, okay? I just make sure I keep my hand here inside my thigh, okay? He's gonna have that knee shield. I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna use my shoulder to put him flat on his back, switch my hips, okay? I grab his arm, all right? I'm bringing his arm up. I get my Kimura grip, put it to the mat. You'll see when you do it, the positioning, once I get his elbows out in front of me, he loses the leverage and I gain the leverage. Last time. Or here, say it's low. So I take the inside arm, I'm pushing his leg to the mat. This hand's pushing his hip. I'm using, I'm using my shoulder and my toes that drives him back. Switch, switch to Kesakatame, reverse Kesakatame. Bring this arm into his armpit, okay? If he locks this up, I'm gonna scoop back, scoot my hips back, bring this knee in, use that to bring my leg out. And then we can just stay in this reverse Kesakatame position. If he grabs the Kimura, right? Pushing his leg, if he grabs the Kimura, I'm not gonna bail and start backing out, right? I don't wanna, if I could, if he separates my elbow from my body, that's when he gets leverage, right? So what I wanna do instead is I wanna bring my body to my elbow. Okay, and now I switch my hips and then look, once we get to here, the leverage changes and I can bring the arm out and, okay? All good, we ready to run it? All right, one, two, three. What's up guys? If you like that, please smash the like button, tap the subscribe button to support the channel, and then let me know in the comments what you wanna see next.